Hey everyone, it's Brody from Everything Board Games. Greenbrier Games sent me Burger Up, so let's get it to the table. All right, this is Burger Up by Rule and Make slash Greenbrier Games that are working together to have the, the game here in the United States. I have kind of started laying out, but not really. Uh, everyone's going to get two bottom buns, a pristine spatula, which is worth four points at the end of the game. If you use it, and I'll explain that later, it becomes a dirty spatula worth two points, and then you lose it. So everyone starts with their pristine $2, and everyone will get a card that shows the burger types. So you're going to be putting ingredients on the burgers, and then putting the top bun on to score certain points. So the bigger the, the burger is, the more money you will make. kind of has the epic economic uh, feel to it, because you're trying to get the most money at the end of the game. So first of all, in a two-player game, you're going to narrow down these top buns. These show you all the different types of burgers that you might be making. And you have to fulfill the requirement that's on it to put it on the top and, and finish it to, to score. And you score it for this, and you will keep your top bun. So in a two-player game, it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we will put the rest to the side. We're going to start with three of them out. And so these are kind of our goals to help us uh, start out our burgers. So we have the low-carb deluxe. No middle buns allowed in this thing. And it's got to be a tower or larger. So if you look, tower is seven to nine ingredients. So that's got to be a big burger with no middle buns in it. You know, kind of like that, the Big Mac, it has a little middle bun. I'll show you the card here to explain how that one can really help you with your burger. This one is extra cheesy. So you just need two different types of cheese. It doesn't matter how big it is. You can figure out what you want to do. Um, and this one's four different salads. So there are different types of ingredients. We're just going to flip over three of these. And to start off as well, you get a dollar when you fulfill these. Each time someone else finishes one, the others will get another dollar. So the one that stays out there the longest is getting more appealing to do because you get paid more money to finish that burger. So here's some ingredients. The green right here is the salads. The uh, brown circle on all these are patties. So they are not necessarily meat because this was a veggie patty and it actually has no meat in it, but it's still a patty. And you will see this is a perfect patty. So when you use this one, you actually will get paid a dollar extra. These are the cheeses, or I think it's dairy because the eggs have that same symbol. And then the other ones, I'll just show you real quick. The sauces right here will have that uh, red symbol there. And so what you're going to be doing is, first of all, you start off with... Um, some cards, four cards, and one, two, three, four cards. And you can place, so, well, the first thing, well, I guess I'll, I'll explain it. How you're going to be putting these on your bun is you're going to be placing them with ingredients. You can play three of them on your turn, but the next card has to match the, the top part of the card that you just played and like so you could make a burger so far i have cheese some spicy mayo and lettuce then i can keep on going and well just to show you i have a middle bun middle buns don't count as uh an ingredient but you will place that here and then the next thing could be any ingredient so it makes it easier to get certain things on so if i wanted to go for the extra cheesy well this has a beef patty, but I'll put a middle bun in and a piece of cheese and finish it. So the middle bun just helps you. But if you're going for the low carb deluxe, it does not help you. You do not want a middle bun. But before you do any of that, you are going to look and buy any of these. So this player will go first and 
Let's see. Meat doesn't really matter in any of these. I would like double cheese, but I have, I have a, del, uh, a cheddar cheese, and that's the other is a cheddar cheese already. So oh, do I want to buy that? Well, I'm probably just going to do exactly what I just did. Let's see if I can remember how I did that. There we go. So I will place those like this. And that's the end of my turn. I can discard as many ingredients that I want this in my hand. And yeah, I don't really want this middle bun because right now it's not too hard. I think I can get some of these and draw back up to four. At any time, you might be wondering what this star is. When you fulfill this, you'll be getting these coins, but when you do a colossal uh, burger, which is 10 ingredients or more, instead of taking 10 money, you can decide to upgrade your place. And I'll show you how you upgrade it since the burgers are over there. You would flip over these. Now, fries comes with your meal. And instead of playing just three on your turn, you will now be playing four ingredients, if you can, which is how many you can hold. So you can play all four of your ingredients on your turn. You could buy one and hold five and then play four and manipulate it how you want to be able to get uh, the best thing done. So this player, it's their turn. So let's see, what are they going for? They see, well, I don't know what this player's doing, but four different salads. Let's see if we can get some salads going. I have that, if I did. No, I don't have that. Oh, this, okay, one, two, back to this. That's two different. So, yeah, let's flip these back. So they're going for the salad one. They got two so far. I'll just drop that off. And let's see, oh. Man, too bad they couldn't use their perfect salad, but it just wouldn't put room to put the other salad on there. But it, we do have perfect onions. Ooh, perfect let or yeah, perfect lettuce and perfect onions just make the perfect garden delight. Mm, oh, well, I'm gonna keep it because it has an extra coin on it. And I will draw up three more. Ooh, some bacon. Oh, pineapple. I want to get the pineapple on there. And pickles. So if I can get the pineapple and pickles on there, that's four different ones. And then I can grab the Garden Delight. So back to this player. Let's see. And I have two burgers I can be working on. So I don't necessarily have to do this one. I'm going to drop my spatula off and lower my burger. Because, you know, this is three cards and it's already hitting up there. When I do my Colossal, you know, it's going to be up there. And I don't have any patties. Let's see, what's this other one? Oh, just something that has no middle bun. Maybe this one could be it. So this would be good for this player because then I could put pickles and then another, you know, like a double right on top of each other. Where any of these have money? No. But I could buy that one. Then I'm gonna get my money back. All right. So buy this. And let, that's all I'm gonna buy. So the first thing is buying. Now it's building. So you're not supposed to be able to build here and then decide to buy. So you have to kind of plan out. So that's one, two, and, ooh, do I want some roasted pepper on here or pickles? I'm gonna try this roasted pepper. And I might be going for this low carb. One, two, three, four, five, six. This uh, spicy mayo might have some carbs in it, but we'll, we'll say uh, it's still low carb. All right, and that's tower, that's seven. So next time, yeah, next time I might be able to finish that. So let's see, what do I want in here? I don't want any of those, so I'm gonna discard them. Pick up four. All right, maybe instead I will make it larger and go for the Colossal and just upgrade my 
thing so I can get my cards out. That might be good. Anyways, this gets flipped. And as you can see, it's in the way. But um, anyways, that's how you, how you play. You're going to be going. And so say I, I got this finally. I put the top bun on there. I get the money. I count how many in ingredients there are. You know, say it was uh, this one, so that's five, and then this one's perfect, so six. Then I would take all these. Let's see, I said six, put them here. These ingredient cards get discarded, and I keep the top bun here because um, the person with the most finished burgers at the end of the game will get five extra points, so you need to keep track. So since I took that one, these now become more enticing. And the Even Stevens comes out. One or more equal sets of meat, sauce, salad, and cheese. So you need either one meat, one sauce, one salad, and one cheese, or two of each. Even Stevens, keep it even. So now this player, though they would be a little more progressed, would get more money when they finished their Garden Delight because this finished player finished first and put some more money on there. So you're going to just be going back and forth. I would recommend really upgrading your uh, your meals as soon as you could because everyone wants fries with their burger, but that's not the only reason. You get to draw four cards and play four cards. or I mean, you're always having four cards, but you get to play all your cards. And even if you can't play one of these, you can always buy one of the three that are out there and playing four cards in the long run is just going to be better for the for your strategy of making big burgers. And um, when I, a lot of times I've played, we've gone for big burgers, you know, because you really do get more points for them. Say you have three ingredients for one, and then ten ingredients for ten. You know, it's a better payout for how many ingredients you're going. Oh, look at this! I can get two different cheeses. Let's see if I could match this up. Oh no! Well, I'd have to buy something. I'd have to make it work. Sauce, yeah, I want that one. Perfect Swiss cheese, that sounds good right now. Anyways, um, lastly, here you have your uh, pristine spatula. The spatula, at any time, you can decide to take um, any ingredient. Say you really needed uh, this ketchup over on this burger. You can use it to scoop it up and anything on top of it to put it back on your other burger. So you're just trying to put ingredients from one to the other in hopes that it will help you get whatever you're you're doing there. So it helps you kind of manipulate that. You only lose two points and it might help you get more. Say I'm, there's a lot of coins on one, you know, that's gonna pay for itself anyways. And then I'm gonna score. And so it'll help me progress. So you can only do that twice because then it's gone. So great game, your matching, your pattern recognition, trying to just match whatever's out there. It's a fast, um, simple-ish game. Uh, the cards can, you know, take up a lot of room, but it does look pretty cool when you have a burger that's, you know, taking up the whole table. And anyways, very good job. This, again, is Burger Up. If you like what you see, then go buy it.